12, I been on top since 06 Ain't no winter, I'ma kill them, they already snow this Man, this game so fucking crazy These niggas be hatin', hatin' for no reason It's sick in my stomach aching I'm taking shit from nobody but mama And that's forever, I'm dolo I guess it's homo with you and your niggas do it together Man, push your pride to the side the boy Rick Rodgers that was a cigarette not a blunt for anybody who want to know yeah I know it's dark as a motherfucker but I'm chilling I'm good um what I want to talk to y'all about is the term cocky because a lot of people like mistake that about me because I don't act cocky towards nobody unless I have to you understand what I'm saying and if I did want to act cocky, then I would act cocky. You know what I mean? Because I feel like when you work as hard as somebody like I do, then you deserve to brag about the things that's happening for you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how big being on 103 Jams is to anybody else. But to a nigga like me, that's like a big accomplishment for me. It ain't no gold... Or no platinum plaque and none of that. But to be on the fucking on the radio station in the mix with like Rick Ross and Jeremiah and all that stuff, that that's important to me. You know what I mean? And I feel like I work hard for that jump. It's not like somebody just gave it to me or nothing like that. Like I work very hard for anything that's happening for me. You know what I mean? No sleep type of shit. Like a nigga like I don't even sleep. Like I sleep like two hours. Three hours maybe Or I sleep for a long ass time If I get the opportunity to But that opportunity Don't come like that Now with all that being said If I wanted to act cocky Then I could act cocky on niggas Because Every time I meet a new person Every time a new person Walk in my studio Chop Shop Studios Shout out to myself for that Um, Every time a nigga walk in the studio And we get to talking and shit the main thing they say is, you know what I mean? They basically be like, I like what you're doing. I like your music and shit, but I don't know if, like, I ain't know if I should come fuck with you or not because of what somebody said. Now, to me, that's some old, some old bitch ass shit for real, for real, to even talk bad about another nigga to another nigga. That's some, some bitch ass shit to me. But, like, I'll tell anybody right now. I'm a, like I'm a grown ass man And I live on my time Like I don't live on another nigga's time And I think that's where a lot of people I think that's like the only bad thing you could say about me Music wise Is the fact that I'm bad with time I may be bad with time But I'm excellent with my time So Like you get niggas who get mad because I don't answer the phone They like You know what I mean Uh that's not professional uh, for you not to answer your phone and you running a business, motherfucker. I mean, I mean, I be telling niggas like this, man. Y'all niggas that I people, most people that I deal with can't even use the word professional, like, cause no one I have met has been like that professional yet. You know what I mean? Like, professional, my nigga. Like, if you we was being professional, I would be charging you five hundred dollars a beat, my nigga. Like. That's professional. That's how the professionals do it. So if I don't want to answer my phone, I don't have to answer my phone, man. I keep telling people that. And it's not no diss to you, man. Like, I could be in my zone right now. I could be on my like my fifth beat, my sixth beat. I don't want to break my concentration. I could be in somebody else's session. I don't want to break my concentration. You know what I mean? So that that's why I don't answer my phone. It's not because I'm too big to... Answer my fucking phone for niggas now Cause I'm on 103 Ain't nothing big about it Man I still go to work every day For like 8 hours a day I can't feel that fucking big You know what I mean I'm not living large My nigga like None of that shit I don't I don't get cap jewelry and None of that All these snapbacks And all that shit man All I got Is my family I got my home team And I got my dreams man Like That's it My dreams So Basically I to everybody out there If you want to be cocky And you work hard To be cocky Then be cocky man Just watch how you carry it You can be cocky all you want man That's like 
when you work hard, you can do shit like that. You know what I mean? And I don't just do one thing. I do a lot of shit. Like, I do videos, uh, rap, sing. I might not be Trey Songz, goddammit, but I can make a song sound good. You know what I mean? I do everything, like... And that's nothing to brag about, because I'm the only nigga that sat there, took my time to learn how to do everything. I learned how to do everything, and then I learned how to be the best at doing everything. You know what I mean? So to me, that's something to brag about. Niggas that hate on me, that's fine. Like, if you're... <laughs> if you're gonna hate on me, like... Don't talk to me or don't talk about me. Just don't fuck with me. Like, don't talk to niggas about me. Know what I mean? Because nobody pays my bills. Nobody feeds my kids. None of that. So, if a nigga decide they don't want to fuck with me, I'm not really losing nothing. You don't want to be around me and don't be around me. Man. You don't want to rap with my beat and don't rap with my beat. You don't want to work in my studio. Don't work at my shit, my nigga. Because you're not paying my bills. Point blank, period. So, with all that shit said... This the boy Rick Rogers. Um, I'm signing out on this shit. I don't want to talk no more. I'm starting to get mad because I be, <laughs> I get mad when I think about shit like that. Niggas hating on somebody that they need. Like you don't do shit like that. Like, you gotta get your priorities straight. I'm a producer. You're a rapper. We need each other. Like, and I'm one of the best at what I'm doing. And so if you're one of the best at what you're doing, then you don't need to be hating them. You need to be building a relationship with me. And that's just how I feel. I feel like the producer is at least, at least, at the worst, I say 54% of a song, period. Because a verse without a beat is just an acapella. Acapellas don't get spent on the radio. They don't get spent in the club. So respect your producers. Like, you got to respect the producers. The producers lay the track for the train to ride. You know what I mean? After we lay the track, it's up to you and your team to push that motherfucker to where it's supposed to be at. But that is what it is, man. It's the boy Rick Rogers. Y'all watch out for that home invasion mixtape. Watch out for uh Young Pelham mixtape coming out. Cowboy Cake, Max Payne. Um, me and Eastwood even doing a project. Um, so y'all just watch out for that shit, man. Keep fucking with a nigga. 103 Jams. Call that motherfucker. Tell him to spin that jump. Shout out to Jack the Spade. He just did one of the biggest things to further my career, so I shout you out heavily for that. Shout out DJ Hustle, man. Shout out everybody that fuck with me. And, and I just want to shout out my girl and my daughter and my son that's on the way. Holla at your boy. It's Rick Rogers. It's been real talking to y'all niggas. And I fuck with everybody who fuck with me. For sure. So I'm